Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is going to be a vlog sale. Um, I've never done um, anything like this before, so I'm kind of, not nervous, but just a little bit apprehensive. Um, but anyway, so today's video is going to be a vlog sale. I do have a couple of items in my collection that I um, want to get, not rid of, but like that I'm no longer using, and I just think it just makes sense to let go of these pieces. Um, like I said, just because I'm not using them anymore. Um, but yeah, before I get into that, hello, my name is Maddie. Welcome if you're new. I feel mostly luxury related videos. Um, so if you do enjoy watching all things luxury, I would appreciate it if you join my little YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button down below. And um, if you're not new, shout out to you. You're a real one. So um, over the years, I have been not collecting. I've been purchasing luxury items. And these include SLGs and bags. And um, I don't know, I just feel like I'm getting to a point where I do have a couple of items that I'm no longer using. And I firmly believe in if you have not used an item. And I'm, I'm talking about prior to COVID. I wasn't really reaching for these items before COVID. Um, so yeah, I just, I just think it's time to let them go. So I have a couple of SLGs and I have a couple of bags as well. Um, actually, no, I think I have just two bags. I'll, I'll leave the bags, um, till the end of the video. I'll start, I'll start with the SLGs. Um, but before I get started with that, um, everything that I'm going to be selling is going to be through, um, PayPal. So if you are interested, I will have, um, my contact info down below for you to email me, um, as well as um, my PayPal. I think my PayPal and my regular um, contact email are the same. So I'll put those in the description, in the description box down below, just so you guys can see. So the prices are firm and it includes um, shipping. It includes the PayPal friends and family fee that they usually take and all that kind of stuff. Um, so when you're emailing me, just put whatever it is that you're interested in specifically. Um, please wait for me to tell you that you're the one that I'm going to be selling you to before you send me any money. Um, just wait for that confirmation from me because I don't want multiple people sending me money at the same time um, just to avoid um, any types of confusion. Also, please only email me if you are really interested in purchasing the items. Um, like I said, the price is firm. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it. So the first SLG that I have that um, I'm going to be letting go of is the Louis Vuitton six key holder. Um, and this one is in the Rose Ballerine um, interior. I'm pretty sure this um, specific combo is no longer um, in production, so it's discontinued. You can get the Rose Ballerine interior, but you're um, only going to get that in Damier Ebene. You're not going to get it in, um, in, in monogram, but you can get like the monogram canvas with like a fuchsia interior. So there is wear on this. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up, but the um, the button over here is like missing it's like chipped right here and um it's changing color a little bit um you can when you email me if you want to see pictures i can definitely send you pictures as well and then um there's discoloration on where like the key thing meets um whatever the hell this is called i don't know what it's called so there's this coloration there as well it is changing color but besides that the inside is pretty clean um there's no there's no damage on it and same thing the canvas is in really good condition as well i will do close-ups just so you guys can see exactly um what these um I, what these um pieces look like what these items look like um this one is made in france again if you want pictures just send that include that in the email and i will send you pictures as well um but yeah this is what it looks like and this is the other side as well so i got this pre-love from poshmark um and this i think it comes with the receipt you're gonna get a receipt you should get a dust bag and you should get a box um if you get this from me but again i'll put the prices in the description box down below so whatever price you see in the description box down below is definitely the price of the item um but yeah this is the first thing that i'm selling it's the louis vuitton six key holder in monogram canvas with the rose ballerine interior the next thing that's going to be up for sale is the Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. If you watch my What I Got For My Birthday video, you know that I got the Agenda MM. And I definitely don't need two agendas in my collection. I'm not using this at all whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be selling this. I did get this pre-loved as well on Poshmark. I don't think this comes with a receipt, but you should get a dust bag and you should get a box um, if you purchase this from me. Um, I did get this little pen from Amazon that I put here. So this would probably come with it just 
just because I'm not I'm not gonna need like a tiny pen anymore this is what the inside looks like this is made in Spain I believe which I saw right here I'm not sure if it's gonna focus and this is what it looks like the binder is still in pretty good um, condition the metal the color is still like pretty much the same it does have like indentations right here when you close it which pretty much is inevitable it has that all the way um, down um, one thing I will say is the canvas on this is not as vibrant so here's a little comparison this is a canvas on the agenda PM it kind of looks a little bit washed out and then this is a canvas on um, the six key holder so this is a lot more vibrant and when I did get this from Poshmark that was exactly how it came I'll put the I'll put the price like I said in the description box whatever price is in the description box is definitely firm so this is the next item that I'm selling. If you want pictures of like close-ups, just let me know and I'll include that in the email as well. The next SLG that I'm selling is a Gucci card holder. So here is what it looks like. It's a Gucci Marmo card holder in like black leather and um, gold hardware. That was the front. And this is what the back looks like. Again, I'll do a close-up. So this has five card slots in total. It has one right here two three four and then um the major one in the middle it has two in the front two in the back and the one in the middle um so here's what the hardware looks like it's still in pretty good condition there is like it is changing color a little bit like on one of the g's um but that's fine um it does have like a couple of scuffs it does have like a little scratch right here um but it's really nothing crazy or nothing noticeable it's still in pretty good condition um but yeah i'm selling this so i got this um in hawaii um in 2018 so it definitely should come with the receipt um it still has like the dust bag and everything i don't think i got a box for this but i definitely got a um i got like a shopping bag so you get the shopping bag as well and it does come with like i guess this is i don't know if it's a care booklet i don't know what this is but um this was inside the dust bag as well and this is a dust bag that it's going to come in because obviously that's what it came with so yeah it's still in pretty good condition i don't use this anymore um i don't use this after i got my uh, Chanel card holder and the Chanel card holder the Chanel card holder is black um, Caviar leather with gold hardware. I don't need two wallets that look exactly the same and um, I'm selling the Six key holder because I now use my clay and I have not reached for the six key holder since I got the clay So there's no point of having this in my collection anymore So this is the next SLG that I will be selling. So the next item that I'm selling I don't, I don't know if I'm going to include this. I'm not sure if I'm going to include this clip in the video because I'm still undecided as to whether or not to sell it or not. But it's the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Um, I have not reached for this wallet. In, I've not reached for it at all. Like I just I don't use it just because I use card holders instead. Um, I'm holding on to this wallet solely because it's the Victorine wallet. Like I, I don't know. I just... I'm just hold, I don't know why I'm holding on to it, but I absolutely do not use it and it's in impeccable condition. There's a few scuffs on um, the hardware right here, but nothing too crazy. Um, the inside is still great. I still have I still have cards inside just because I don't know. Like I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this, but I'm just gonna film this part just in case. This is what the inside looks like. Um, it's it's in pretty good condition. I I barely use this. I barely use this. Um, but yeah, this is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I got this from Louis Vuitton. Um, so you should get a dust bag and the box. I don't think I have the receipt. I don't know what happened. I'm pretty good with keeping receipts, but I can't find the receipt for this one. Um, but yeah. I may not let it go anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So that does it for SLGs. Um, and I do have two handbags that I will be selling. I think one of them might be a shock to a couple of people. I'm not sure, um, but I'm just gonna pick it. So the first bag that I'm going to be selling is actually the Givenchy Antigona. And this is what it looks like. So it's in black with silver hardware. I did get this pre-loved from Fashion File. So you only get a dust bag. I didn't get a box. I didn't get a dust. I only got a dust bag and I may have gotten the receipt. I will put the correct information in the description box down below. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got the dust bag and I may have gotten a receipt. Or you're going to get the Fashion File receipt that I got. Um, 
whatever works for you. So this is an older version. It um, doesn't, this strap is not detachable or adjustable. It's literally fixed on it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if that's a pro or a con. I thought it was going to be a con, but it's actually a pro for me. And um, I have stuff inside. Let's take that out. This is what the inside looks like. It's literally just a black hole. Um, but I love this bag, actually. I just, I don't know. I guess maybe because we're not going out that much, we're not going to work. I have my Longchamp Le Pliage, which is a great work bag. And I also have my Neverfull. So I think those two kind of kind of do it for me in the work um category i do love how structured this bag is but i don't know i just i don't reach for it um as much as possible it does have like i don't want to say it's a scratch but it's more like smoothing of the leather or i don't even know it, like it's almost like a vein um right here i'm not sure if you can see that i'm not sure if the camera is picking it up um but besides that it's in pretty great condition there are a couple of scuffs in the back as well um this is what the bottom looks like it does have like a couple of scuffs right there as well keep in mind i did get this bag pre-loved as well from um fashion file um this is what the hardware is looking like i would say this is definitely like an eight over ten um it's still in pretty good condition so yeah you should, like i said you should get the dust bag and maybe the receipt if not the original receipt you're definitely going to get the fashion file receipt that i got um, but yeah, this is the next bag that I'm selling and the last bag that I'm selling which I think is going to be what's going to catch a lot of people by surprise is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse So I have decided to part ways with this bag not because there's anything wrong with the bag but just because I Don't think I reached for this bag once this year um, maybe like in the beginning before I had before I purchased any of the bags that I purchased this year Maybe I reached for this bag like once or twice um, So I wore it for a last I wore it one last time. I want to say like a month ago um, That was like the deciding factor as to whether or not I was going to let it go and it's it's just big like I and I think that was what I liked about it how it was a big bag it, but it was a big it's a big bag but it's not like big big like the never full big or like the sweetie 30 or all, the, all those other bags but I just feel like it's too big for me and um it just it was almost like I don't know it's just I'm really into mini bags right now I mean I, I don't know and this just this is not a mini bag this is like a regular size bag and this is too big for me right now if I'm if it's not a tote if it's not like a proper tote then I don't think I want it it's weird because I went to the Chanel store and I tried on the what is it the trendy CC which is kind of similar to this and that was too big and I think this is bigger than that one so yeah I just I don't reach for this bag at all just because it's too, it fits a lot I do have air paper in it um, it does come with the strap I store it inside this bag is in impeccable condition like there's absolutely nothing wrong of course it's patina like that's inevitable um, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it like I'll do close-ups just so you guys can see what it looks like um, it's in pretty pretty great condition like there's nothing on it there's no scuffs whatsoever on it um, maybe like the the plating or like the hardware right here which I mean because you're closing it and opening it it's obviously gonna get banged up or like gonna get scratched um, but yeah I bought this off of the Louis Vuitton website so you're gonna get the receipts you're gonna get a box you get the dust bag you get the whole shebang if you get this from me that does it for all the items that I'm going to be selling let me know if you're interested. Only serious inquiries. Please don't email me if you're not going to buy it from me. Don't waste your time and don't waste my time, please. Thank you. Um, but yeah, all the information needed will be in the description box down below. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.